Oh, that's not too bad. Start to finish dog training services. Our phone number, as you can see, is 724-WAGS. Uh, and it says obedience, grooming, doggy daycare, and breed handling. That's our sign. It says it on both sides. This is State Road 9. As you can see, it's pretty busy. We had snow yesterday, which today is December 20th. I think you're getting the snow today. There's our driveway. They just finished plowing us, so I'm going to give you different angles of the facility. Now you're going to approach the front door. There's the front door. If I can pan out the building. The driveway goes around to the back, and I live in the back. As you can see, we have nice feel stone in the front of the building. Um, try to give you an idea. You won't be able to see how big the building is because we have the same thing on the other side. Um, anyway, there's the front door. And if I zoom in, I think you'll see Widget. Is he there? Well, see if he's there. No, he's not there, but he will be. He's inside. The other guys are outside. So I'm going to take you. As you can see, we're closed today. We've been closed since Monday because we had freezing rain one day and then we had the snowstorm yesterday. So, I'm going to take you on a tour of the facility. Hope you enjoy it. There's Widget waiting for me. Widget's 14 years old. Hi, huh, Widge? Say hi to Grandma, Widge. <laughs> okay, anyway. Back. Um, this building was built as a daycare center and I'm, I've just entered the front door and this is what they see when they come in. This is a banner I had made for my seminars. And um, so the first room I'll show you is this room right here, which is the coat room. Okay, obviously when the kids came in, they were gonna hang up their coat, their lunch boxes may be up there. So this is simply a coat room that we use for, no one's hung their coat on it yet, I don't think. But anyway, um, and as I turn, you'll see that there's the front door that I came in, and over here is an alcove. It was probably some sort of waiting room. Kathy, my friend Kathy from Michigan, keeps her crates there. And this is Sherry's office. And open the door. So you can see she has a TV in here. Nice carpeting, a chair. There's her desk. Okay, can't pan out anymore. Um, but anyway, this is Sherry's office. I made her have the front office so people could bug her and not bug me. And as you go down further, here's our bulletin board. And it's quite nice that this bulletin board was left here for us. So there's all our notices and thank yous and congratulations and cards people send me. And um, when Trivet was diagnosed with cancer and just all sorts of stuff and any notices that, uh, you know, dogs for home. This is Sheila from Hawaii who was down from my camp in August. She bred to Trivet and because she couldn't bring her dogs because of quarantine, she was working with Trivet doing sheep herding agility and there's a Trivet daughter right there that came from Connecticut. So it got written up in the newspapers and dog workshop draws pets owners from near far for training camp. And um a podium that was left here that we use. So let me take you to my office. Out of my office, this is, you know, we've got ribbons. All my ribbons are all over the place. You'll see. In the office, whoops, see, I don't have any of the dog ribbons in here. I have the horse ribbons from a long time ago. And these are pictures of Trivet and his, all his kids and things over the years. You know, some awards, not really. Anymore, there's my desk, my fax phone. We use that for the school. A picture of Widge. A picture of Trivet that was on a card that when I went to England. Um, you know, I'm pretty much, you know, some of my horse thing where people know that I did horses before dogs. So this is my office. When you look down this hallway, which opens up into the main room, all these are my awards some of the ribbons and there's a, you'll see this wall closer up it's a special awards wall what you're seeing pretty much what you're seeing we haven't done anything to this is the woman's room but i don't need to show you that my plaques okay some of my plaques the men's room and over here turn the light on this was a big kitchen when it was 
um, the daycare center, but we turned this into a grooming room. And we made a door and used it as, utilized it as a grooming table, crates underneath, a dog food is in those containers, crates, dryer, okay. And we put a tub up for the dogs. It's a pain in the ass because I don't have a battery and I'm hooked up to wires here. So this is our tub. Okay, grooming supplies, the trunk I had back in Massachusetts. Okay, we have a pulley to put dogs up on. And a ramp to get them into the tub, the big dogs. So we're gonna go out now. Shut lights as I go. Okay. And as you saw, there's a men's room and then there's a ladies' room. Over here, this was a station, a sick station for the kids. When the kids were sick, this had, as you can see, a toilet and a sink. We took a wall down um, because uh, we had a new toilet and sink put in, but the sink was opposite the toilet. And this is when a kid got sick. They stayed in this room. You can see where the wall was. And they had their own bathroom. And we had to make this. This was the perfect room to make into a handicapped bathroom. This was the Fields, Slice Ferry Fields, a few years ago. Um, a day, Memorial Day weekend, when we all got together and trained the dogs. And there's Jeep and Widget and Trivet and a lot of the dogs. Anyway, now, the room that you're going to see here, oh, first of all, let me show you the special wall. This is the special wall, the first wall I put up with all the ribbons. It's just special awards that each dog has done in a unique, way, a unique win. I'm going to put the lights on. This was the kitchen, not the kitchen, it was the dining room for the kids. And we, as you can see, turned this into a training room. Again, we didn't do any renovations on this, but as you can see, all my ribbons, probably never thought I had this many ribbons because they were just in bags everywhere. We put mirrors up. These are all pictures of my students on the wall, but they're my ribbons, high and trial ribbons. We'll go to this wall, okay, as you can see. These are pictures of me and my dogs with wins. There's Widge. I don't know what year, probably can't see the year. Uh, can we see the year in that? No. Oh yeah, we can, 1987, when he won his first Superdog win in Minnesota. There's Trivet and Boggles in Canada. Trivet again and Jeep. And there's Trivet when he won the highest honor you can win. Um, that was 1993 and that was when Trivet got retired. So those are pictures of me and the guys. And the clock of trivet somebody made. One of my students made more ribbons. More ribbons. These are all my ribbons. Okay. And uh, before I go to the end, this is the second training room. Put mirrors on the wall. You see those windows. And you can see where there was a wall. Okay. Because this was two separate classrooms. And what we simply did was took out the wall to make it one bigger training room. I'm in the first room that I showed you, which I told you was the dining room for the kids, and this is just a view of looking, you know, up the hallway that I came down, where there's my office, grooming room, and that's how we came in, because there's a podium in the bulletin board. So I'm giving you another view. Oh, this door, by the way, we'll go through it later, or next after, is the swinging door to the kitchen, and through there is how I get into my house, or how I get into here. Um, so, taking a span of this room, I already saw there's me filming, okay, is, as you can see, there's a door there, and there's a door. Now, if we go back over here, okay, these are windows that lead out to the big yard, I'll show you the door. Oh, there's little Jules in the window. He wants me to come out and play, and there's static. And there's another door there, that's another classroom. That was a third classroom. And then there was a door right where you see this ribbon. That door was taken out because that classroom was made into my living quarters. And you'll see that in a moment.